Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to do the draw on glow effect in Resolve 16 with no plugins whatsoever. Let's get into it. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a filmmaker. I teach tutorials, filmmaking tips and tricks, anything film related, and I am all about it. A great way to spice up your videos is to do the draw on glow effect. And you can do it right inside Resolve with no plugins whatsoever. Let's dive into Resolve 16 and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Now that we're inside Resolve 16, you can see I created the sequence. I've got these lightning bolts coming out of the guitar. I've got his eyes glowing, the microphone glowing. I just wanted to spice up footage and make it that much more interesting to look at. Now you can also see I've got some RGB splitting around the edges and some glow distortion around the whole thing. I'm not gonna dive into that today. If you want to learn how to do that and more about adjustment layers, things like that uh, drop a comment below let me know I will get a tutorial out on that as well first thing we're gonna do is create a new timeline we're gonna set an in and out point that looks about good we don't need nothing super long we're gonna drag it in here I'm gonna go ahead and trim it do everything that I want to do to make sure this clip is finalized because what we're going to do with the draw and glow effect is going to affect everything else. If you have not colored that footage, it will affect the footage that you're going to color later. This footage looks okay to me, so we're gonna skip all the coloring steps right now. I've got a whole tutorial coming up for that, so if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing for that. Uh, but we're just gonna skip all that, we're gonna go right into Fusion. So we've got our in and out nodes. I'm gonna move them down here, and I am going to hit Shift Space Bar. I'm gonna type Background, hit Add. We're gonna move you up there. I'm gonna hit shift space bar again, making sure I'm still clicked on background. I'm gonna type in paint, gonna hit add. Then I'm gonna hit shift space and I'm gonna type in soft glow. So we're gonna highlight all these. We're gonna move them right here. We're gonna click on media in one, shift space bar, and we're gonna type in merge. Then we're gonna grab the box off the soft glow and we're gonna click it right to the merge. All this merge is doing is bringing those extra nodes we added and connecting it to the video itself. Now I know you're looking at this and going, it went black, what the heck? What we're gonna do is we're gonna click on background, we're gonna go to the alpha and we're gonna drag it all the way down because we didn't have it set to anything. It just defaults goes to black because it's just a background image, but we can set the alpha completely off. So everything we do, this background is holding on to information, but it's transparent. I'm actually gonna drag this down a little bit so I can see a little bit more. We're gonna click on the paint tab. We're gonna do just a little line across there. I'm not a huge fan of that size. So we're gonna go to the brush control and we're gonna dial it down a little bit. That's pretty good. Control Z to get it off there. I kind of just draw something on, change the size, control Z to get it off. We're gonna click on soft glow and we're gonna go to the color scale. Now this is where you can change the color of the actual line you're drawing. We're gonna bump the red up a little bit, drop the blue a little bit. Now make sure you re-click back on paint before each other draw because otherwise you're not gonna do anything. We're gonna draw again. Yeah, I like that color, I can live with that. So what we're gonna do is make sure we're at the very first frame of our video or wherever you want this to start. We're gonna make sure our paint is selected and we're gonna just start drawing. And then we're gonna go over a frame. And then we're gonna do another squiggly here. And then we're gonna go over a frame. You can see how this can be very time consuming because you're essentially moving frame by frame drawing on whatever you're doing. Now, before we get too far into this, there is two ways that you could do this. You could have whatever lightning bolt or whatever you're drawing go along a path, or you could have it grow and continue to stay where it's at. And it's just expanding. So if we were gonna have it stay where it was at and just continue to grow, what I would do is go back one, two, three frames, and you can see that's the first one. I'm gonna kind of remember where it's at, and then I'm gonna just draw and connect it. I'm gonna go ahead and speed up this process of me just going frame by frame drawing around. It's kind of the same thing, just rinse, lather, repeat, continue to draw.
Now you can see how crazy that looks, having this lightning bolt go around it. And I kind of like the crazy jitterness of it because of what it is. I will give you a really good tip. Know what you're gonna draw before you start drawing it. I know it's all in your imagination, but have a game plan before you start drawing on there because otherwise you'll get 10, 15 frames in and you'll have no clue what you're doing and it'll wind up just looking kind of scattered and chaotic. One last thing, if you're wanting to draw multiple colors on there, what you would do is click on the paint tab, hit shift space bar again, type in paint, add another one, it drops it underneath. And if I wanted to change the color to let's say a kind of blue, I would select that. Let's say we want some lightning bolts shooting out right when he hits the cords. We would go frame by frame, also drawing, just making sure we're selected on the second paint tab. You can also add another paint node and do as many colors as you possibly want. And that's how you do a glow draw effect inside Resolve 16 within the Fusion tab with no plugins whatsoever required. That's it for me today, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below on some other tutorials you wanna see coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos coming out. I'm the Iron Giant, you guys are awesome. I'm out. <laughs>